good afternoon, Taurus, and welcome to your February 2020 tarot reading. Welcome to Love and Abundance Tarot. My name is Morty. I'm excited to be here and have the opportunity to be able to share your February reading with you. And Taurus, I have to say, right, right out of the gate, I've had the opportunity to lay out, shuffle the cards and lay out the energies and look at them. And Taurus, you have a beautiful reading here. So I'm excited to share it with you. Uh, Taurus, whether your sun sign is Taurus or your moon or rising is Taurus, or maybe you're just checking up on a Taurus, uh, perhaps you have Taurus in your Venus, um, or you could just be intuitively guided to be here. Whatever the energies were that brought you here to this, to this channel, trust those energies. Uh, keeping in mind, so today is Wednesday, February the 5th. The time is 2.07 p.m. Uh, my readings aren't date specific, so whenever it is you happen to come across them, um, trust those energies. That's when uh, energy says it would be right, the, the appropriate time for you to tune in and to watch this specific reading. So, Taurus, wow. Uh, let's get started on your reading. So, Taurus, you're a beautiful zodiac sign, and you're an energy that, that I resonate with. Uh, both my moon and rising signs are in Taurus. Right, so I'm filled with all kinds of King of Pentacles, uh, Taurus type energy. Um, so I always look forward to your Taurus tarot readings. Uh, we Tauruses, we, uh, we can be very generous, very independent and dependable and down to earth. We can be patient, right? we can be persistent, stubborn, and sometimes we can even be a little lazy. Uh, and we can sometimes be self-indulgent and uh, we tend to like the finer things in life. So, Taurus, you're located, you're found in the second house. The second house is about your resources. This is your self-worth, your possessions, your money, and how you earn it. So, Taurus, you were ruled by the planet of Venus. And I think it's, I think it's, uh, I think there's one other zodiac sign that's also ruled by Venus, and I think it's Libra. I'm, I'm pretty sure of that. Uh, and that's that's kind of interesting to know, right? Because the planet Venus is about it's the planet of attraction, right? And I've learned, uh, I've read over the years, uh, and just my own personal experience, that, that that the zodiac signs of Taurus and Libra both we tend to, to thrive more when we're in relationships. Um, the relationships is just something that that serve our particular energetic zodiac sign very well. So. And Taurus, I have to say, here we are in your reading and we're talking about a relationship here. So, let's get started. I want to begin by sharing a prayer with you from my Change Me Prayers book by Tasha Silver. And I just trust energy to select a page. Uh, so I did this beforehand. So Taurus, here's what it has to say. This is the prayer to take us into your tarot reading for February. Change me, divine beloved, into one who trusts your timing in every way. Let me accept stretches of quiet and rest, knowing they recharge me for future action. May I trust that change always comes at the perfect time. I am your very own. Okay, I really like that for you, Taurus. Um, you know, when it came to taking that time to, to, to rest and to recharge, you know, I, I stay very busy, you know, between uh, the work that I do here on the channel and then my job that I have. Um, but I've noticed uh, just when, I, when it comes to, to kind of my own time, I've, lately I've taken some time to, to really kind of rest and recuperate. Uh, yeah, earlier in today especially, I took the day off from work so that I could focus on the channel and readings. And uh, yeah, it was just nice to, to, to relax and just kind of nurture myself in the morning. And I even took a bath this morning. So yeah, it was just kind of, it's been a, it's been a really nice day. Anyways, Taurus, let's get started here in your tarot reading. So I laid out, I did a nine card spread for you. With the initial nine cards, I used Psychic Tarot of the Heart by John Holland. Um, and this deck tends to be a little more relationship related, right? So this can involve a specific relationship in your life or several relationships in your life. Um, but you have a, a really interesting reading here, Taurus. So coming out, I pulled a Magical Times Empowerment card and we pulled clarity for you. So this is the empowerment affirmation taking us into your reading. Taurus, banish the fog of illusion. Open your eyes to the truth. Remember the perfection of who you are. Right. Taurus, I feel like many of you have done that very thing, right? I feel like maybe you've stepped away from the illusion. You've recently kind of opened your eyes to the truth. Maybe opened your eyes and maybe come to terms with 
more of, of, of what it is that you truly desire in life and specifically the type of relationship that, that you truly desire in life. So Taurus, let's just read a little bit more about clarity to you. I love the image here on this card too. Taurus, today I will be myself in a world that is constantly trying to make me something else. I will remember my true self and honor him or her. I will walk away from all the confusion, drop illusions, and remember this truth. I am a powerful being. I have a clear mind, and I am a miracle in this world. And that is so true, Taurus. You absolutely are a miracle and a blessing in this world. Okay, so... I did the nine card spread. I used the Psychic Tarot of the Heart deck and then I used my uh, Crystal Vision as clarifiers on each of the energies. Um, so to begin with Taurus, I started with the, with the center energy, which is kind of serving as, as the primary energy for your tarot reading. And we begin it with a beautiful energy of joy and stability. And this is equivalent to the Four of Wands in the original tarot. Four of Wands can also, can also represent the energy of, of a commitment. It can uh, represent you know, the coming together of a relationship, whether it's a business relationship or it's a romantic relationship or it's a meaningful friendship, right? But Doris, you're stepping into a beautiful time of joy and stability. And this is about, this is about really, uh, it, it kind of goes through and it tells you how to go about doing this here in your tarot reading, right? But this is, this is about, you know, letting go of a lot of the limiting energies, right, that, that, that we may have taken on from this, from our journey that, that we've been on. And, you know, and along this journey, maybe there have been a lot of setbacks, right, some painful disappointments and such. So inevitably, we could take on some, some limiting energies. Uh, this is about you moving into a time where you're releasing those energies. And, and I'm showing that here on your top row. So I'll get to that. Right, but this is going into present energy. So I feel like many of you have already released these energies or been releasing these energies. And this is this is just allowing yourself to step into a beautiful time of bliss, right? Of feeling connection, of uh, uh, connecting with others and being a good listener, uh, showing up for others, uh, you know, figuring out ways that um, you could help them and be a, ben a benefit to them in their life. Um, your ability to really open up, open yourself up. That's truly what it's about. It's about, um, literally, at the end of the day, we're just energetic beings. It's, it's literally opening up your energy to receive beautiful energies and beautiful connections. Okay, Taurus. Coming in next and showing up on the top row, we have Release, which is equivalent to the Death card. All right, so I look at this figure here. And here he is, and he's he's opened up his shirt, right? And he and it looks like he's he's. I'm just looking at, at his expression on his face. It looks like he has this this willingness, almost this kind of kind of submissiveness. Um, not necessarily defeated, right? But but um, maybe it's connected to, to 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 humility, just a willingness to to open himself up to the universe, right? To be able to release these energies, limiting energies. I pulled some clarification. Right. And this, for some, uh, this is also representing the energy of Capricorn. Right. So for some, you may have recently ended a relationship, and it could have been a relationship with Capricorn. Pulling out clarifiers, we have the Ten of Wands. So the Ten of Wands represents the energy of what, what feels like it's been a long journey. And Taurus, I feel like many of you have taken on that energy of, of you have, in fact, been on a very long journey, uh, a journey that's full of beautiful lessons right but but in many ways painful lessons and here coming out as a clarifier we have the five of pentacles which i, f I feel like this is just representing the energy of, of scarcity right of going without and some of you may have taken on this energy now you know uh, whether it's you know feeling a, a scarcity of love and connection with others or it can be a, a, a scarcity of finances you know um, this energy of scarcity never a fun thing to you know to kind of have to feel like you're, you're living day by day you know and wondering if you're going to be able to make enough at the end of the month to be able to cover the bills so this is you Taurus right recognizing these energies and they're energies that we just pick up many times when we're experiencing what feels like it's been a long journey. And just letting these go. So, Taurus, good for you. And, and as I'm looking at your reading here, um, if, if it's kind of going on a timeline from top to middle to bottom, 
what I'm seeing is like just this this beautiful journey of you raising your vibration. Right? So Taurus, I really hope this reading resonates with a lot of you. Okay, coming in next, we have Opportunity Beckons. Okay, so Taurus, I feel like this is about you taking time, right? You taking time to reflect, right? And and I th and I think a lot of it, a lot of it, this Taurian energy. Sometimes we take time. We'll go into kind of that hermit mode, that 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 solitude mode, uh, in order many times to heal. Um, and I say that because coming out as a clarifier on this energy, we have the Four of Swords. You know, it's just take, it's representing the energy of taking time to rest and recuperate. Right, but the image on this card kind of fascinates me. I feel like there's a lot to be said about this figure. Right, so here he is standing on his balcony. And what is he doing? He's staring out at the stars, right? And so we have this, this sky full of stars, and here we have the moon here as well. Right? And here on this ball behind him, we have the infinity sign, right? As above, so below. Right? So Taurus, either for you or the other individual, or maybe even both of you, you know, I feel like, you know, this this is maybe representing the energy of, of you following energy, you following energy, or maybe both of you following energy. And by that, I mean, you know, paying attention to astrology, paying attention to the signs, paying attention to, to, to tarot readings, right? Seeking that guidance in that direction, right? And many times it's from seeking that guidance and direction, right? That that's what, that's what opens us up so that we're able to have a, a more clear understanding of our strengths and our weakness, and more importantly, what it is we truly desire and want in our life. Uh, and we know that for you, Taurus, because coming in next as a clarifier, we have the Two of Cups, right? So this is you taking the time to really think and reflect what kind of love do you want to create in your life? What kind of what kind of relationship are you trying to manifest? And I feel like many of you you're you're already you already have probably have somebody in mind. You're following energy, uh, maybe both of you following energy, but you're trying to come together in a soulmate kind of relationship. Whether this is romantic or whether it, this could be business, this could be two guys. Don't get too thrown off with with the sex. Okay, Taurus, coming in next. We have the sacral chakra, which is representing the energy of, of I want. And I want to read to you real quickly about the sacral chakra. Because um, many times we're being encouraged to open up this sacral chakra. Okay, Taurus. Known as the sacral chakra, the second chakra is located two fingers below your navel and relates to emotions, desires, creativity, and sexuality. To activate this chakra, visualize a glowing orange ball of energy in your belly area. See it spinning and sparkling. Feel joy as it grows larger and sends orange sparks out into the universe. By energizing the sacral chakra, you're attracting creativity, joy, passion, and love into your life. This exercise can be used to energize any chakra simply by visualizing the appropriate, appropriate color energy. Okay, so Taurus, for you, what it's representing is this energy of, of I want, right? And I feel like many of you taken the time to really think and reflect what it is that you want, what it is that you're truly desiring in your life. And we have some clarifiers that came out here. I love your reading here, Taurus. Here we have the King of Cups. And attached to it, we have the Lover's Card, which is the card of Gemini. Uh, so some of you may be desiring a relationship with a Gemini. Don't get too thrown off with the sign, though. But again, this is a soulmate connection. And attached to the King of Cups, right? What is letting us know, Taurus, is you're just not one to settle, right? Maybe, maybe this time around, you're looking for that higher level of love. You're looking for that higher level of connection. Um, this is about, you know, two like-minded individuals that, you know, for many of you, you, you may have a story to share together, right? A story about this journey that, that you've been on. For many of you, maybe an intuitive journey. But yeah, it's representing the energy of, of two people that are absolutely in love, right? Like-minded individuals, right? The kind of kind of relationship where you, you can talk all night, uh, where you just you know one another so well, you just automatically feel this 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 large amount of unconditional love and compassion and understanding and connection between them. 
go. It's a great thing for you, Taurus. All right, coming in next, and now we're, we're working on your mid row here. We have reaching out. So this is equivalent to the three of wands. So Taurus, what this is letting you letting you know is this is about you opening yourself up right, to reaching out to others, connecting with others, finding finding others that are like minded like you, right? That can maybe in some way help you on your journey, or maybe you can help them on their journey, right? This is about kind of that reciprocating energy back and forth, right? But you're taking the time, right, to really invest your energy to reach out and to, to connect with others. Coming out as clarifier, we have the world card, right? So this is representing the energy, the energy of one chapter in your life coming to an ending, right? And now you're stepping into this next chapter. So this is the time, Taurus, that that you know you're able to, to reach out and make those connections with maybe some of those soul family members, right? That that, that you're interested in, in working with or interacting with, and having them become part of this next chapter in your life. taking us to the next clarification, which is the Ace of Swords, which Aces represent beginnings, right? So, so you're stepping into this new beginning, this new chapter in your life, and you're stepping into it with a new understanding, a new way of thinking. Okay, Taurus, and coming in next, showing up again at the center of your reading, we have Joy and Stability. So, that's what, again, that's about opening yourself up. Um, coming out as clarifiers, we have the Seven of Pentacles. Right. So the Seven of Pentacles is, is reminding you, Taurus, right, that this journey that you've been on, these are seeds that you planted long ago, right? So for many of you, right, you planted these seeds and now it's just, it's these seeds coming to fruition for you. Um, it's your it's your harvest coming in. Uh, and yeah, and I have to say that for you, Taurus, it's literally, for many of you, it's, it's your harvest coming in. And, it's, and it feels very abundant for you. Okay. Coming in as another clarifier, we have the Nine of Wands, right? So attached to joy and stability. So something you've been aware of for quite some time, right? You've been paying close attention to this journey. Uh, this is also about, you know, thinking ahead of time and, you know, thinking strategically because she's placed herself on top of this hill, right? To give herself the, the advantage of being able to better see, right? Whoever or whatever may be approach, approaching who's watching her back. Her companion, the lion, right, representing power and strength, ready to alert her of anything approaching from that direction. Okay, Taurus. Now it's just going to kind of continue to get better and better. Coming in next, we have well-deserved reward, right? So this is equivalent to the Nine of Pentacles. Um, Nine of Pentacles is a beautiful energy. It's a very independent energy, right? So this can be the universe recognizing your sense of independence, right? Your sense of, of independence, maybe your, your ability to be able to provide for yourself or to provide for others as well, right? But, but really, literally being boosted as this figure is, he's on top of this, these three bricks. So it's literally talking about you being, you being elevated and coming out as clarification on this we have the king of pentacles so taurus your energy right here so taurus virgo or capricorn energy uh, the great thing about the king of pentacles right is this is a very wise energy right so the king of pentacles right he may go through some difficult journeys throughout his life and he may actually take on some of these heavy energies and for many of you right you may just have to really allow yourself to feel and experience those energies in order to take on the experience so that you understand it better and I don't even know where that's coming from well, I wasn't planning on saying that right but the king of Pentacles just pulling the nuggets from all these all these life experiences right taking that wisdom and that understanding with him and that's what creates right the stability and the security which we see you have stability and security coming in so look he's on he's, he's standing on solid ground and then Taurus, coming out as your next clarifier, we have the Two of Wands, which is representing the energy of stepping in, you know, the courageous risk taker, getting ready to step in and begin a journey, right? A journey of, it's adventurous, it's, it's passionate, it's exciting, right? Taurus, I feel like for many of you, I mean, this journey is like, this is like a breath of fresh air, you know? For many of you, you know, this is, this is a, I mean, I'm kind of feeling the trend, the energetic transition and change here for you, Taurus. And, um, I mean, what it feels like is it, it feels for many very transformational. You know, this is going from like 
literally, you know, that those energies of, of scarcity and, and lack, um, you know, in maybe several different areas in your life to really feeling connected to that abundance, right? Stepping into this journey, for many of you, you may be stepping into the journey with another as this is the two of wands. Okay, Taurus, now moving down to your bottom row. It just gets better. We have dreams coming true, which is equivalent to the nine of cups. So, Taurus, dreams coming true are beautiful energies. It's literally, I feel like that this is what it's going to be felt and experienced like for you is, is such a, an energetic shift, you know, maybe even an energetic shift of, um, you know, maybe some boredom that's connected with, with those energies of scarcity, right, and, and, and the struggle, right, to literally feeling abundance in your life, an abundance of love, an abundance of connection, an abundance of meaning and a purpose, right, just Taurus, dreams coming true. Coming out as clarifiers, we have the four pentacles, right? So representing the energy of scarcity. These energies of scarcity, right, literally going away, right? You're, you're leaving them in your previous chapter, not taking them with you, because this next chapter is all about the six of wands, right? Which is representing the energy of victory and of triumph. Right? We see the figure here standing on top of this hill holding out his arms, ready and willing to receive this victory. Ms. Taurus, I think for many of you, this has been a hard-earned victory. Well, it's been a well-deserved reward. All right, Taurus. Now I kind of want to get into why I'm, why, maybe why I'm feeling a little bit of this transformational kind of energetic shift in your life. Coming in next, we have Take the Lead, right, which is equivalent to the Three of Wands. Right, so this is literally about you know stepping into this next chapter, right, and, and, and having that confidence back. Um, uh, you know, for those of you that maybe may have struggled with your confidence, um, you know, maybe even questioning yourself, questioning at times, maybe even you know your your abilities and such. So, and I say that because you know it's been a, it's been a heavy journey for you, Taurus. You know, and I'm seeing it here in the Ten of Wands attached to the Five of Pentacles. Right, so this is about you just embracing this vibrant, passionate, creative energy, right? Taking it and running with it. And this is the energy that you're taking with you into your next chapter. Coming out as clarifiers, we have the Two of Pentacles, which this is about balance, right? This is about, about your ability to maintain this balance, right? And in order for these energies to continue to propel you forward, right? To propel you upward. So, maintaining your balance, very important energies. And then, Taurus, these two cards came out together. Uh, and I feel like they were meant to come out together. I was a little surprised to see them. All right, so here we have the death card, and attached to it is a sun card. So we have the energy of Scorpio, and then we have the energy of Leo. Right? So, this is kind of where I'm going, Scorpio, or, or excuse me, Taurus, on this, this transformational kind of change is, is this is literally, right, literally ending and closing the door on, on, your, on your previous chapter in life, right, and, and maybe for many, right, your previous chapters in life, and, and now you're stepping into a whole different chapter that's going to be so much different that's going to be so much more fulfilling, uh, so much more joyous, so much more loving, so feeling so much more connection, right? Feeling, taking on the energy of the sun, right? Which is, it's representing the energy of just childlike enthusiasm, right? So, Taurus, the opportunity for you to step into this next chapter and to feel like a kid again, right? To let go of the fears, the worries, and the concerns. To let go of the energies of scarcity, right? Because at the end of the day, Taurus, you recognize more than anybody, right, that, that you are abundance, right? So you can manifest and create abundance. Okay, Taurus, coming in next, we have balance, which this is equivalent to the temperance card in original tarot. All right, so I feel like this is representing the energy, Taurus, right, of yourself and another person coming together, right, coming together in union. And, and maybe it's maybe the two of you have been on this journey and it's and, and maybe it's been a long and it's been a difficult journey but I feel like maybe it's the lessons right that are experienced for one or both of you throughout the journey that it's those lessons that bring in the growth the enlightenment the understanding right the awakening in order for both of you to, to, to have the proper balance right to now be able to come together in union just a very a very beautifully balanced energy. 
It's also the energy of Sagittarius, right? And then coming out as clarifiers, we have the Chariot card, which is representing the energy of Cancer, right? So this is about this is about movement and change, right? Movement and change that comes in with balance. And then we also have the Eight of Pentacles, right? Which, you know, for many, this can be representing the energy of, of just reminding you, right? That, 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 that either one or both of you are, will always need to be mindful of, of maintaining the importance of this balance, right? In order to bring about beautiful changes. And for others, I feel like whatever this connection is here in this balance energy, right? Of, of two people coming together. I feel like you may be coming together, right? This balance, beautiful balance chariot energy and coming together and it's connected to the eight of pentacles, which is representing the energy of working, right? So you may be coming together in union and even working together in some way, shape or form. Okay, Taurus. Wow, I'm done with your tarot reading here. Yeah, Taurus, you had a beautiful reading. I hope it resonated with all of you, right? I hope that you're able to connect with these energies, right? Whether this is something that's taking place in your life right now, or it's coming in next week, or it was last week, you know, whenever these energies are relevant and, and resonating for you in your life, Taurus, uh, I hope that the messages here help you and benefit you in some way. Uh, because at the end of the day, right, what, what is my drive, my ambition, what is my intention? My intention going into these readings is to, to try to create, to, to, to recognize truth and energies, right? And to, to connect with these energies and share the story, right? Always trying to create the best possible outcome. Always trying to take the path that's going to bring us towards, right? The most joy, the most happiness, the most love, the most abundance. And that's why I named the channel Love and Abundance Tarot. Okay, Taurus, thank you for the beautiful comments, all the love and the support. Thank you for those of you that have made donations to the channel. Uh, it's your donations. That, that's what makes this possible. Uh, so thank you so much. Uh, and thank you to all of you who have ordered personal tarot readings. You know, if Taurus, if this reading resonated with you and you want to get a personal reading and look into your circumstances a little more specifically, just send me an email at tarotloveandabundance at gmail. You'll see the instructions in the description below. Okay. Taurus, wow, you have a beautiful reading, and like I said, starting from the, the timeline from the beginning, working through the center to the end, this is all about, right, Taurus, you continuing to raise your vibration, and it's raising your vibration, that's what's going to attract those energies of, of unconditional love and meaning and connection, uh, that's what's going to attract those beautiful friendships, those beautiful relationships in your life, Taurus. And yeah, it looks like for many of you, you do have a relationship coming in. There is love coming in. All right, Taurus, have a beautiful day. Thank you so much again for the opportunity.